I'll just say it real quick because I don't know. Maybe <coughs> when it says in the scripture that, you know, there'll be a key to, like, to him will be given the key to open the pit. Maybe the whole deception that we live on a globe brings forth and the fact that we are deceived as a collective actually does bring things into manifest so therefore it creates the bottomless pit and opens the bottomless pit because people have been deceived and brainwashed into believing the world is round so therefore because like I've been hinting here and there that it's deeper than that flat earth uh, the flat earth thing that maybe the earth is flat and round or like at the same time like CM like that brings up the whole we live in multiple dimensions we're multiple dimensional beings maybe they're locking our manifesting like locking in our physicality quantizing quanti quantizing it into a state to where it's synced up with this altered dimensional globe earth with the bottomless pit and like like we're on some black hole thing um <clears throat> Maybe it's the state of our consciousness. If things are infinite, if we close it off and we make it small, it creates a a bottomless pit. Um, consciousness, when blocked off, goes starts going in the opposite exponential direction of shrinkage instead of explosive growth. <laughs> I mean, that's really deep, guys, if you can get with me. Um, I, I've just been having crappy videos lately. I haven't felt really inspired because I can't make long enough videos, so it's really frustrating. But just think about that. I, I've been saying that the, the flatter stuff is more about the multi-dimensions. And even if it's not, it's to expand your mind and be open mind. It's like an intellectual exercise that you cannot shrug off. It's done t um, tons for me. Whether it's real or not, doesn't matter. Um, Mandela effect, same thing. But uh, you guys got to realize that this stuff's in scripture. And I was just thinking about like how, you know, to be truly like... Um, like prisoners in solitary confinement and like the psychosis that you'll go through you don't know what's reality and you're like you know you have these psychosis um we're not meant to be alone you know like i don't know it's just it's just really getting deep into thought and i thought that that's a big could be a big part of it and I think like anything and everything has a small percentage of truth no matter how you look at it. So just think about that, guys. Like maybe the bottomless pit is that whatever we do have faith and believe in, it will be no matter what. You know, maybe it's just a matter of what dimension you want to look at it in. And it's whether or not we decide to make it so or not. You know, if we're a little bit of God is in us and, you know, like we're a reflection of God, you got to realize that we must have some kind of amazing power. Um, and they're hiding that from us and using it against us to manage us. I mean, it could get really nefarious. And that is scary to think about. I like to use this stuff... Uh, these things as good intellectual exercises just stimulate my own spiritual growth and growth to better myself as a as a as a person you know that's all you know you can't let it get that serious <laughs> but um there are some crazy possibilities that you might have to stop yourself from delving down because that's how serious it gets guys like like how deep and dark that could get that we're like 
you know, the farm, how thing. I mean, if you're into this stuff, you'll realize where I'm going with all that. You know, the farming and all this stuff and the elites and, like, it's people fighting over the presidency. It's literally like a, 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 a class president contest. Like, ooh, oh, they just revere my consciousness. I'm the winner. Like, I mean, it's all mentalism games, guys, when you get down to it. Um... Consciousness comes before all, so you know you got it. That's a major factor, and it's a major power towards that benefits all. It's the even playing field, actually, between the god and and the devil. You know, <laughs> like hypothetically, just think about this. Everyone's on that even consciousness playing field, and then you're, and then it comes down to righteousness and like positive and negative and like atrophy and growth and like you can really break things down to real simplistics you know it's 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 a good thing to keep your brain your stuff flowing and uh i've been picking up the guitar and i just noticed like my skills are getting amazing maybe i'll play some stuff for you guys pretty soon um a couple more days maybe i'll get a little more confident to jam out a few little things um but yeah, man, think about that. I feel like the multi-dimensional thing, you really gotta think about that. This guy's really watching authentic intent and he's got a lot of good stuff and he's always challenging others. And that's just great, man, getting people to think. Some of these people, when he first starts challenging them to even just have an original thought, you realize how brainwashed and indoctrinated and they're just like, yeah, that, when I see the astronaut stuff and on the TV and that, you know, I just, when I see it, I believe what I see. Like, you know, think about it, guys. That's all I got to say. I'll uh, get with you later. I gotta go. I got a couple days off ahead of me and maybe I'll make a few videos or something, but, um, I'll be doing some wrestling. I was sick, and I'm starting to heal and feel better. My eyes aren't all infected, and it looks like they're getting good. So it might be a pretty good day tomorrow. Um, talk at you later, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. It's free, and whatever. Ba 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 ba. Later.